Hey everyone, my name is Mike Henry, and this is my Procreate 4.2 demo for the piece I call Face Bomb Remix. So this is Face Bomb. Well, actually, this isn't Face Bomb. This is Face Bomb. This is a tattoo on my arm that I've had for quite some time now, and I updated him at one point when I wanted him to be the face for Sketch Bomb, the sketch group that I started in San Francisco. This was the logo that I created in order to support Sketch Bomb. Well, now Sketch Bomb is in several different places, and one of those places is here in Barcelona, where I now live. And Shiraj Talang started it a few years ago, or a couple years ago, and it's going really great. And he asked me to do a piece of art for the next Sketch Bomb, which was this November one that just happened. And I thought, what a great opportunity for me to update Face Bomb and uh, give him just sort of like a new look with a, a new a vibe, even just the way that he's uh, drawn, not just his design, but the materials, so to speak, the, the methods. So that was the entire idea going into this. Uh, so this is a character, a character slash design slash logo of mine. I mean, he's sort of got a personality, but it's not like I draw cartoons with him or anything silly like that. Um, but he's got a little bit of a personality, and I decided to even update that. So he's a little bit more crazy looking, a little bit more, um, I don't know, just sort of over the top. And that was the entire idea that I wanted here. His face is actually now takes up less of the bomb than it did before. And the designs of the striping now are these crazy zigzaggies, almost like watermelon lines. And the thickness of his wick is like bigger. So all, overall, I just sort of wanted to really play with him. And then this style that I'm using here is something that I don't really ever usually do. Although ever since I did this piece, I've been playing with it a lot more where I'm just using the, I'm relying on the width of the pencil, in this case, of course, the fat pencil, instead of building up the lines. And I'm just sort of using them as is, uh, use, applying the thickness through the stroke as opposed to blocking something in and then filling it. And so then I thought, well, if I'm already doing that and I'm trying to go with this sketchy style, what if I make the smoke sort of have this look where my lines are following the forms of the smoke? And it just sort of one thing led to another, and I ended up having a ton of fun with this. It was something that I was just going to do for fun for uh, the promo for the Sketch Bomb in November here, uh, but then I ended up taking it and doing a few more things with it, which you'll actually see over a couple of videos. Um, I have another design of mine that I use in some of my branding, you could say, that is the tattoo that's on top of my left hand. Uh, his name is Mr. Peepers. And uh, I did a redesign of him as well in a similar style, and then I eventually took the portrait that you see of me sometimes where you see my icon places and I did a version of that in a similar style as well. So just some stuff that I've been playing with that's been really fun to do, that's all. So how am I doing this? What's the methodology that I'm using? Well, I'm using the good old fat pencil like you already are probably aware of and may or may not have been using. And I'm just thicker and heavier with it in general to try and get those really dark areas and I'm going in pretty hard to get the the shadowy areas and then I'm just following that form and lightening up my stroke as I go uh, then what I was doing to try and make sure that I got some of the exact values that I was looking for is I would lower the opacity of the brush fatten it up even more and then use that really lightly just to bring some more darkness in there. Uh, there's really not much more to it. In fact, there are aspects of this that are quite easy to do and it's sort of freeing because then you're just sort of doing it a little bit more naturally instead of uh, stressing about the precision of it because it's just not that precise, which is kind of cool. So you could see when I was at the earlier part of this, I was sort of roughing in things. The idea here is that the wick is burning, there's like this wild sort of soft flame, and then the flame curls into the smoke, and then the smoke goes around, comes across in the foreground, and then curves back around behind face bomb. Now one thing that you'll see here is that the natural progression of the artistic direction of this was that it was these really fine lines in the beginning, you can see in the shading of face bomb himself, but then when it gets over into the smoke, I'm going with like these fatter, softer lines overall. So I actually go back eventually and readdress that, or address that, I guess I should say, uh, on Face Bomb himself by putting in fatter lines and softening it all up just so that it feels a little bit more natural. The only brushes that I used in this whole thing was the fat pencil, and then I used the graphite pencil 
that's sort of like that big graphite shading pencil from Procreate just to get, just to get some of the a little bit of the shading on Facebomb himself and then some of the background stuff. And you can see how fat my pencil is during this. I mean, when I mean, I joke that I called it the fat pencil just because it could get fatter, it could get bigger. But I mean, here these are like crayon strokes, basically. Part of that's because this is really close to the foreground, but part of it is also because I know that that part of it is going to get really dark and really shadowy. So I don't actually have to worry about my line quality on these big guidelines uh, because they're going to become part of the shadow. And then I just need to be a little bit more conscious as it's lightning and the form is. Uh, turning on it that I get a little more precise and a little bit more delicate. And then just to keep the sort of sketchiness of the whole thing going, I then put like an extra layer of darkening across it since it's in the foreground. Like so much in art, uh, this phase of it is really repetitive. I'm just going over and over and over it again, and it's actually not that uh, taxing when you're doing it, but it's a little bit taxing when I'm going back through and watching the video because there's not much that I have to say here. Uh, and so I'll shut up for a bit now. You just watch the rest of this and I'll uh, come back in later. is that there's this sort of texture to everything but it still has a bit of a fun vibe when you look at how cartoony the smoke is in the background with those chunks breaking off his big silly expression and the big volumetric shapes like it's really fun and cartoony but then at the same time there's a little bit more to it so that's why I've been a little enamored with working this way lately um, here I do like this circular shading on the face just because I'm trying to follow that form and then I go back in and erase it here uh, so that it just is clean and looks like I need it to adding in just a little bit of messiness there to make it a little bit nicer you can also see that I used a white line to break some stuff up. There's that graphite shading that I was talking about, and then using a little bit of the white line just to get um, a rim light going there. Now at this point I use that white line to start picking out things that I want to be bright. So this is no longer part of that white line that has absorbed some of that gray from the background. This is now on top of everything, and it's a white line to try and bring brightness to things. So we've got the white as the interior of this flame, a little bit of white on the wick because that part's lit, a little bit of white on face bomb himself because that's the light bouncing, and at the end I realized that I was kind of silly all along and I should actually make the lines white for that part of the flame. So at the very end you'll see me do that to the flames. Right there. And that's it. That's the redesign for Face Bomb for the November Sketch Bomb here in Barcelona. Expect to see some more art with this type of application. And otherwise, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next Procreate demo. And if you're looking for me on the internet, these are the places where you can find me.